Hey, welcome back, guys. I've got here a super simple project for a Saturday afternoon. I call it my secret squirrel door unlocker. So we've got three components here. We've got the Arduino Nano, but you could use any Arduino you want. We have a Hall Effect magnetic sensor switch. And we have a relay. This is the SRD 05 VDC SCL. This is a 10 amp 250 volt AC relay or 10 amp 30 volt DC relay. And what we would do with this is use it to actuate a magnetic uh, or a uh, electronic door lock. If you don't have an electronic door lock, you could substitute a servo for this. So let's go over the physical setup of this. It's quite simple. We have our Arduino here providing five volt power to this rail. And we have our ground over here to tie our grounds together. And we also have five volt going to that rail. So here's our relay. It has uh, plus five volts ground and it's actuating pin comes over here to D4. You of course can make this any pin you like. Now our Hall effect sensor also has plus five volts ground and its analog output is tied over to A7. And of course you can tie that to any analog pin you like. And then for my actuator here, I just have one of these little neodymium magnets, you know, the real powerful rare earth magnets. And you only need to get it about this close. So you can see I'm maybe three eighths of an inch to a quarter inch away and it will actuate the magnet. And what that means is you can take this Hall effect sensor here and hide it, you know, behind a piece of plastic or something. And it's still going to actuate that lock. And that's why I'm calling this the super secret squirrel magnetic door unlocker. You can hide that. You can be the only person that knows about it have a little magnet, it doesn't have to be a neodymium magnet, you know, it could be any little type of magnet. You know, you walk up to it, you bring the magnet close, click, click, door unlocks. Let's take a look at the code. It's incredibly simple too. Then we'll come back and I'll demonstrate. All right, let's take a look at the code here for the secret squirrel magnetic door lock. All right, first libraries, none needed. Second, we have our defines. We are defining hall switch as A7. That means the hall sensor is plugged into pin analog 7. And our relay is in digital pin 4. We are only using one variable, integer called lock, and we're setting its initial value to 0. Now, in our setup, we say pin mode hall switch to input, so we set the hall switch to input. Now, the Arduino IDE automatically sets pins not specified to input, but I like to specify each and every pin as I go along. That way there are no surprises later. Then we have pin mode relay for output. If you don't set your pins for output, you won't get an output. Now we can do a digital write relay low, and what that's doing is it's setting the relay low on power up because we're using this as a security thing. We want to keep the door locked. We don't want it to accidentally unlock when the power is cycled to the Arduino. And serial begin 9600. We always do that for our debugging, and in this case, you're going to need it so that you can set the appropriate value for your if statement. All right, now down here to the main loop of the program. And we say lock equals analog read of hall switch. So we're taking the analog read of hall switch and placing it into the variable lock. 
and then we're serial print lock so that we can see what the actual value is and the reason we want to do that let me uh, restart this here all right here's mine without the magnet activating it so you see we have a value in the 740 area and then when I put a magnet near it we get a value of 22 so that's why we need that serial begin and the serial print here so you can see the values that uh, your number your sensor will put out now we have our logic for the program and we say if lock is less than a hundred I mean I figure that's a pretty good value if it's generally floating in these mid 700s and when we put the magnet on it it turns to 22 if we say anything less than 100 that's pretty good and that's gonna activate our relay right here digital right relay high that turns the relay on we're gonna give you two set two seconds to open the door and then we'll turn the relay off and we wait one second and we go back to the beginning and that's all there is to it all right let's power this guy up here all right you can see we got the arduino powered up and the tx light is flashing there because it's sending the uh serial output like we did in the code and you can see that the led for the relay is off and never came on remember how we set it low in the code because we don't want it to accidentally come on so when we bring the magnet close the relay actuates for two seconds and then it shuts off and that's all there is super simple again you could substitute the relay for a servo use the servo library have the uh servo set for say 180 degrees and it's you know fully extended position at the beginning when you actuate it you know withdraw it to 90 degrees unlock the door lock the door pretty simple i mean this is a really easy project that you can do in less than a half an hour and it's you know it's something useful put a battery on here put this in a little enclosure you can put it anywhere once this is programmed you don't need the computer anymore and uh that's that so if you like this please give me a thumbs up feel free to comment and share and if you haven't subscribed yet you really should our drawing for the free arduino zero is coming up in a month from today we're up to about 340 some subscribers thanks to all of you guys i really appreciate it but hey tell your friends that might be into this to subscribe even if they're not into electronics, tell them they can give you the Arduino if you win. I'd really like to get up to 500 subscribers by that point. All right. Guys, have a great day, and I'll see you next time.